Hi everyone, this is Sean and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, since uh, 2015, I've been working on a Star Wars board game. And so I plan on documenting uh, the gameplay testing for this board game. And I might also add in some videos of, of me doing some uh, experimenting on the 3D printer that I bought uh, back in 2021. And also maybe some of the stuff I'm working on for uh, Dungeon and Dra Dungeons and Dragons adventure. So if you would like to follow along, please subscribe and hit a like if you like the video. And here we go. So this is the first uh, YouTube video I've ever done. And I apologize ahead of time for this video here. This is a time lapse of me setting up the game board. And when I set up the camera, didn't realize that it was out of focus. It looked like it was in focus when I started the video. But you kind of get the idea. So I'll, I'll have more pictures of the game board at the end of this video. So um, yeah, like I said, I started this project back in 2015 um, after uh, they announced uh, The Force Awakens was coming out. I kind of was thinking like, um, you know, it'd be kind of cool to have a board game that's kind of like a strategy uh, simulation kind of like uh, the World War II board game Axis and Allies. So based on th that game, I started making um, a version of it with Star Wars. And um, over the years, um, I, it became a, a four-player game. It was originally... Um, it was originally just uh, the original trilogy. It was the Empire versus the Rebellion. And then um, as the new movies came out and popularity of the uh, prequels became more popular, I decided maybe I can add in some um, other factions. So what I did is I just basically added in the Separatists, and added in the Republic and made four teams basically for the board game. So here I'm just kind of finishing up placing all the pieces at the beginning of the game for the four different factions. So there are a total of 44 planets that you can play on as far as the battles are concerned. Um, divided between the four different factions, which are, again, are the Empire, the Rebellion, the Separatists, or the CIS, and the Galactic Republic. So the, the reason I wanted to record all this is because I've already played, play-tested three times uh, with the... Uh, different results so the board is all set up and the rounds work by um, starting with uh, the rebellion so the first part of the turn is purchasing new units so that's what I'm doing here the rebellions purchased uh, new units and then the next phase is combat. So I'm going to look at the board here and see which uh, battles are going to happen for the Rebellion. So again, this is the first video I've done for YouTube. So I'm kind of experimenting with the camera angle here. Um, then the next part of the video, actually, I switch over to... A, a, more north-south view of the game board. So in the first uh, the first turn here for the Rebellion, um, there's not a lot of combat going on. I believe there is a battle happening in uh, Bespin, which is at the near the bottom right-hand corner here of the video. So it's uh, the Rebels are attacking from Hoth, they're ta attacking the Separatists who are on the Bespin. Uh, I believe at the other side there's also a battle 
uh, there is a Battle of Lothal, which is occupied by the Empire. So, the game is, is based off of uh, the World War board game uh, Axis and Allies. So, just to basically use uh, six-sided dice. Um, each of the units on the board, uh, the battle units, have different values for offense and defense. Uh, if you're familiar with that board game. So, I based all, all the um, units on those um World War II uh, battle units from uh, Axis and Allies and tried to batch them up the, be the best as I could. Um, I found most of the game pieces um, on eBay um, because I had ha had some uh, micro machines from Star Wars and I thought maybe I could go online and I can actually get some of those old game, uh, those uh, toys, the miniatures from the 90s. And sure enough, I was able to find enough to um, pretty much fill in all of the different game pieces I needed. There were some missing ones. Um, uh, for example, uh, the um, gunships for the CIS. Um, I could find them, but they were super expensive. They were like $30, $40 a piece. Um, I guess they're very rare. So I found an al uh, alternative for that, which was uh, Legos. So I was able to find Lego gunships. Now they are a little large, which is why part of this is also uh, me uh, trying to uh, figure out if I can actually use the 3D printer to create the game pieces. So that's also going to be uh, featured probably in some future videos. Um, my Kind of like my struggles and successes with uh, my 3D printer. So after combat is over, it's a non-combat movement, which is basically anything that didn't move during combat is allowed to move. And of course, like I said, each of the different uh, battle pieces has its own stats, so it depends on what the game pieces are. It determines how far they can move. So the, at the end of the round, each of the factions gets... Uh, Income, based on how many of the planets they occupy. And that was the end of the Rebellion's turn. And the next to go would be uh, the Empire. So I changed the angle here. I know it's kind of hard to see close up there. Uh, I couldn't really zoom in too much more without missing parts of the board. So again, at the beginning of, of the turn, making purchases, and then uh, move on to the combat phase. So there is some combat going on near Coruscant. Um, the planet next to us, next to Coruscant is an, an axis, which is occupied by um, the Galactic Republic. An axis was a planet where they um, had a naval base. So there's a large battle happening between the Empire and the Republic there on that planet. It's a, it's a space battle. There's no uh, planetary combat. So there's different versions of combat. There's space, space combat, combat which is basically ships fighting each other. And then there's planetary battles for control of the planet, which happened on, on the ground, where you have to have ground units in order to occupy that planet. So it looks like there's some combat. Let's see here. I believe that's the Empire attacking Takodana. So I did add some uh, planets from uh, the sequel trilogy. Um, Takodana being one of them. Um, Ajeku is also on there. And Jeddah is also on the on the map. Um There are no units for the First Order or uh, the New Republic. Maybe it's something I can look at down the road, but right now it's much easier to handle with uh, four different sides. So basically the game will be two to four players, depending on how many players you have available. So 
So we got some combat going on here. I'm rolling the dice here for the combat. So out of the four factions, the Empire starts with the most income. I believe they have 36 industrial units to spend. Um, the Rebellion started with 30. And the next video, I'll record the, the next two factions. Um, that would be uh, the Republic, which starts, I believe, with 34. And uh, the CIS, or Separatists, uh, also start with 30. So making some uh, non-combat movements here for the Empire. Um, there was a big battle there, a uh, space battle near Coruscant. Uh, it was unsuccessful for the Empire. Um, they were forced to retreat to Coruscant. They took a lot of losses, lost a lot of uh, fighters, starships, starfighters, sorry. And it looks like in the bottom corner there is Scarif, which is one of the bases for the Empire. And they are on the move. They're heading their, moving their forces towards the capital planet for the Republic, which in this game is Camino, because the cloning planet. Obviously during the Republic, of Coruscant was the capital, but you can't have both factions on Coruscant. So there, I found these little um, metal um, tokens uh, used for credits on uh, Amazon. So they're little metal um, tokens. So I found... Uh, 20, 10, 5, and 1s for the denominations. And they work out really well. Better than paper. So the Empire ended up with uh, 38 credits there at the end of their turn. So this is what the board looks like currently after two rounds. So the Rebellion was unsuccessful in their attack to take Bespin, but the Empire was able to conquer Takodana on this turn. So this is a close-up view of the right-hand side of the board. And then on the left-hand side you can see uh, the unsuccessful attempt on Bespin and the Empire has taken Takodana. And that's it for this round. We'll see you on the next video.